Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video or for coming back to watch another video. I appreciate it. Um, I just want to sit down and go through some of the products I've been loving in March. But to be honest, these go back way further than March. Um, these are just some of my kind of ride or die products that I absolutely love. And I feel like I can't live without, even though that's, I mean, a bit extreme. I also wanted to get this done now because I realized that the Stephora VIB sale is coming up. So I definitely want to show you guys some of these products in case it's something that you've been thinking about and then maybe you can just like slide it into your car and wait for the 20% off. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So the first products I want to start with are some hair care products. And if you couldn't have already guessed, I'm a little bit obsessed with hair care, um, specifically my own hair care. Um, I love big, voluminous, healthy looking hair. So these three products I feel like really Help me get there. Now the first one you're gonna probably roll your eyes at because I haven't been using it that long. I think I've only used it a couple times, but you might've seen it. It's kind of exploding all over TikTok and Instagram and YouTube as well. And that's the Redken um, Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo. Because I haven't been using it for that long, I guess I can't really sit here and say that it has bonded my hair back together. Um, however, I will say it definitely gives a lot of volume. Like we're working with some big hair right now. It feels a little bit like a clarifying shampoo. Um, however, it doesn't strip your hair of the color because my hair is, um, I'm not naturally blonde. Uh, so sometimes when I feel like I have buildup on my hair and I want to use a clarifying shampoo, um, I feel like it does kind of strip away my color a little bit. However, this does not. And it smells pretty nice too. I also find with this that I don't have to use a ton of product to get a really nice lather going. I'm someone who has always kind of opted to go with more of a less expensive shampoo because I, I feel like I have to use so much of it. However, this one, I don't feel like that at all. I probably use two squirts. <laughs> Uh, to really get a nice lather and to get it all the way down to my ends. It was $30. I got it at Ulta, so it's not cheap. Um, but like I said, you don't need a lot of it to get a really nice lather. So I guess keep that in mind. The next product I have, I've been using for years and years. Ugh, stop being dramatic. I've been using it for, I don't know, probably about like a year and a half now. And that's the Olaplex number five. I think at some point I've probably used all of their um, products in their entire line. However, it's the Olaplex number five that makes the most difference for me. I mean, I enjoyed using all of them. However, this is the one I saw the most difference with. So after I shampoo and rinse, I squish a lot of the excess water from my ends and then apply this and keep this on for, I don't know, if I don't have much time, then really just like 10 minutes. Uh, sometimes I'll actually get out of the shower with this in my hair and wait for, I don't know, 30 minutes because this can be used as both a regular conditioner or as more of a mask. Up until now, well, actually up until COVID, I've always lived in very high humidity areas such as the Caribbean or the Florida area. So of course, having processed hair, because I bleach it, um, you walk out into that humidity and all of a sudden it's like, pfft. but this has really cut down on how much the humidity affects my hair. So I've really appreciated that. <laughs> and this is going to be a product that I'm going to stock up on when the VIP sale starts at Sephora. Uh, I believe it's $28 so I can get a discount on that. So I usually buy at least two of them and that lasts me a while. Okay, and the last hair product is more of a styling product, um, and that is the, um, ugh, I don't even know how to, foam, foamulant, 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 foamulant. Anyways, it's the styling foam from Aveda. It's another product I've been using for years. It's the best um, volumizer I've ever used. Every once in a while, I'll stray from this and try a new one, but I always, always, always come back to this one. It's it's fantastic. It's a foam and not a mousse. Um, so therefore, I don't know, it, it's lighter. And also, I'm someone who doesn't wash my hair very often. I wash it, I wash my hair like at most once a week. And I find when I use more of a mousse, 
um, that it makes my hair almost kind of flat and heavy looking by midweek. Um, whereas this doesn't at all. I almost feel like it gets better and almost more volumizing as my hair gets oilier. So I don't know how that works, but it does. This is $24. You have to get it at Veda, so it's not available at um, Ulta or Sephora, unfortunately. So let's move on to a few makeup products. So there have been two uh, foundations that I've been absolutely loving recently. Um, and if you've watched any of my other videos, well, first of all, thank you because you're one of like three people and I appreciate you. <laughs> first, we have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is really great. It really is. It's great. It's great. If you haven't heard of this, where have you been? It's been all over TikTok, all over YouTube. I don't know, probably Instagram too. Um, but it's a fantastic product. It's probably more of a matte finish, mm, satiny matte. Um, but you know, you pop a little highlighter on and it, your skin still looks glowing. It has an SPF of 30, which is important. Um, yeah, and it's an e.l.f. product. You can get it at Ulta, very reasonably priced. I think it's like $14. I have it in the shade 120 Neutral and it lasts so nicely throughout the day. I don't get any like cakiness. It doesn't get cling on to any of my dry spots because I do have dry skin. Um, yeah, I you really can't go wrong with this. For the other foundation I love, uh, that's going to be the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Foundation. Oh, sorry, Blurring Skin Tint. Um, this is another fantastic product. Um, it's gonna be a little higher on the price point. I believe this is $29.50, so let's just say 30 bucks. I have this in the shade two. This is gonna be a little bit of a lighter coverage, um, and it also feels a little lighter on the skin. I think this is gonna be fantastic for those hot summer days when you're just out on a deck somewhere drinking some sort of alcoholic beverage um, and just enjoying the warm weather. <laughs> One of the reasons why I love this so much is that it's described as a blurring skin tint and let me tell you, it blurs. It really does. Uh, I'm someone who, you know, likes to get a little Botox in my forehead and around my eyes. However, I'm currently eight months pregnant, so that's not really an option at the moment. Um, and I am just like a scotch self-conscious about my fine lines slash wrinkles that are appearing um, around my face. But this really helps. It just kind of blurs right over them. They It doesn't sink into any fine lines. It just kind of... I don't know what it does. I don't know. I'm just saying that when I look in the mirror, uh, I don't notice them and that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, this product is gonna be available at Stephora, so definitely pick that up if you are curious. Um, once again, so that's gonna be part of the VIB sale, so you can save a couple dollars on it. Um, but I have a feeling that everyone's gonna be buying this um, during the sale. So. Put it in your basket right now and pick it up as soon as possible. All right, the next product I have is another e.l.f. product. Uh, this little guy right here is, first of all, adorable. And second of all, it's the Wow Brow. Um, it's like, oh, I got that right. Wow Brow. This is their one of their brow setters. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but it has like little, well, it's teeny tiny, first of all but it has little sort of microfibers in there as well, um, as well as a tint. Um, I have it in the shade taupe. Ooh, my leg is falling asleep. <sighs> oh, that's such a weird feeling. Ooh, uh, this little guy will make your brows look fuller because of all the little microfibers it has in there, um, but it's also going to set them really nicely and keep them in place like all day long. And the best part is it's like three bucks. I know it's tiny, so you probably don't get a lot of product, but for $3, eh, that's all right. The next product I have is such a ride or die product for me. Um, I've gone through, I don't even know how many, at least five of these. Um, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in um, Iconic Nude. This literally goes with every lipstick I own, like every lipstick, even when I want like a bright red lipstick, I'm gonna put this on first because it just outlines the lips so nicely. You can overdraw them just ever so slightly and then put the lipstick on and it doesn't look like you've 
like completely overdrawn your lips like something crazy. I really love the formula. It's easy to put on, however, it's not super soft. So it wears really well. It wears for a long time. And I got this at Stephora and I will be stocking up on it come tomorrow. All right, we're getting down to the last two products here. Um, this is, oh gosh, this bottle looks so disgusting. And I'm sorry, it just like, I throw it in my makeup bag and it just rattles around in there. Um, this is the Catrice Setting Spray. It's a Dewy Gloss Finish Spray. Oh, I'm sorry, Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Um, yeah, this is another awesome product. Uh, I can't recommend this enough. It's a drugstore product, so it's gonna set you back like eight bucks, so that's great. Um, after I have all of my makeup on, I just kind of pull my hair out of my face, shake this bad boy up, and spray probably like three or four spritz. And I don't know how it works. It keeps your makeup in place, but it makes you look really glowy, and also your makeup just wears nicer throughout the day. Especially if I put like powder on, you spritz a little bit of this and it just like melts the powder into your skin. <laughs> um, this sells out really quickly. I remember when I was looking for it the first time, it took me a while to track it down. Um, so if you see it, grab it. You won't be disappointed. This will keep your makeup in place, but yet, you know, you're still going to glow. All right. And for my last product we have here, uh, this is the Ordinary 100% Organic um, Rosehip Oil. This is amazing. Um, I'm really glad that I picked this up. For years and years, I had been using the Drunk Elephant Facial Oil, which is an awesome product as well. However, it's really expensive, and I just, I knew there had to be a, something else that was comparable at a different price point. So I picked this up, and I've really been enjoying it. Um, not only do I use it on my face, but I literally slather my belly in this before I go to bed. Um, you know, I have quite a stomach now because I am oh, eight months pregnant. Oh. Okay, you can't really see it and trust me, I don't really feel like showing it off. Like I was saying, I put a little bit on my face after my moisturizer uh, before I go to bed and then I like douse my stomach in this um, as well as my hips and my back. Um, and let me tell you, I have not seen even a hint of a stretch mark so far. Um, I actually did a video on how to avoid stretch marks while being pregnant, um, coming from someone who already has stretch marks, so I do have stretch mark prone skin. It's done some really great things for my skin and also my belly skin. <laughs> what? Another reason why I love this so much is because it is so affordable. I mean, if I was rubbing something on my belly every night, um, and I could only buy in this size, it would have to be affordable because, I mean, I go through this in like three weeks just because I'm using it on such a large <laughs> surface. Uh, $9 for one fluid ounce, so I think that's a great price. Um, obviously, I won't always be using it on my stomach, so it will last me a lot longer. You can get this at Sephora, however, it's always excluded from the sale just because the ordinary products are so reasonably priced anyways. Um, that they don't offer them on a discount. So you can get it there, you can get it from Ulta, you can also get it from ASOS, and then if you live in New York City, you can pick it up at um, Ricky's Beauty. Uh, so yeah, there's four places you can get it, and then of course probably their website, I'm assuming. All right folks, there you have it. That was a short and sweet video. I just wanted to give you a little rundown of some of my favorite products and a little heads up that you can get some of them at Stephora. So if you're curious about them, um, yeah, definitely head over there in the next couple of days um, and stock up on what you can. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button, um, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a whatever you want. I'm interested in pretty much everything just beauty and hair related. So that's pretty much the content that I'm going to be filming. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Please come back, visit this channel again. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. <laughs>